original Gravity Rush had many positive qualities, but Cat, its upbeat and unusually skilled hero, was the reason to play the game. With the ability to control her center of gravity, you could walk on walls and ceilings, and most important of all, fly through a magnificent floating city in the clouds. The unusual gravity-based nature of Cat's powers made the age-old concept of flight feel fresh and managed to carry the otherwise imaginative yet underdeveloped adventure. With untapped potential and numerous unanswered questions by the end, Gravity Rush felt like it needed a sequel to finish its tale. More than just a simple follow-up, Gravity Rush 2 exceeds expectations by going above and beyond the original game, filling in gaps while simultaneously telling a new story. It also crucially doubles down on depth and scale, significantly increasing the scope of the adventure and the number of optional missions. Like the first game, you spend most of your time peacefully flying around looking for key items and characters to move the story along. But when alien-like Nevi enemies appear, Cat turns full action superhero. With the ability to magically throw inanimate objects, Cat can pick off small enemies or weaken large brutes from a distance, but you typically rely on her kick abilities to get the job done. Fighting in midair in Gravity Rush 2 feels a lot like the first game, exciting and unusual, and at the mercy of the camera. Most enemies have sensitive red orbs on their body, and while you are required to target them to inflict damage, there are built-in aiming assists that make your life a little bit easier. Cat's story is re-established months after the conclusion of the first game, and you spend quite a bit of time in new locations before reconnecting with her past. Cat will have to navigate a slave-like existence at a mining camp without her powers in the beginning. And while this section does feel a little deflating given that Cat's powers are the first thing you want to play with out of the gate, it thankfully doesn't last too long. At best, the intro helps set up the new conflict and a fresh cast of characters. And after you break out of the intro, you're brought to a divided society where the rich live in opulence above the clouds, and the poor try to scrape by an existence below. The examinations of these topics aren't revelatory or groundbreaking, Gravity Rush 2 loves silver linings, but they lend a small amount of relatability to the otherworldly realm. With over 20 episodes and 40 side missions, boredom is rarely an issue. Gravity Rush 2 goes to great lengths to connect side missions back to the main story, revealing new facets of seemingly minor characters that enhance your understanding of their position in society and thus your perspective of the bigger picture. The only types of missions that wear thin are those that rely on basic stealth rules. Sometimes you have to sneak around a base of soldiers and avoid their sight lines while you make for a key location, or you may trail a suspicious character to gather intel. Either way, these missions by and large fail to leverage the game's greatest strengths. Missions aside, simply flying around the world is a captivating experience in its own right, both for the thrilling sense of flight and for the beauty of your surroundings. The world pops with color and character, building on the first game's strong Ghibli-esque visuals. And basic exploration is once again made more rewarding by the hundreds of gems, used for ability upgrades, strewn across the map. Gravity Rush 2 also incentivizes casual exploration by introducing emergent events, generated by other people playing the game. On a somewhat regular basis, notifications pop up when you're flying to and fro, indicating a nearby treasure hunt. You're then given a chance to examine a photo of the relevant location and pinpoint landmarks to zero in on the treasure chest. This proves as a fun diversion that tests your observation and navigation skills in new ways. And if you generate a photo that leads to another player finding treasure, you eventually receive a small reward for your work. It is a small touch, but treasure hunts also reinforce the feeling that you're a part of a world that operates independently of your adventure, befitting the new, large, and lively open world. After more than a dozen hours of helping the poor, supporting your friends, and uncovering corruption at the highest levels of government, Gravity Rush 2 concludes its new story before revisiting Cat's origin story. In the final act, you discover the answers to the biggest mysteries laid out in both games. And you have to do a little detective work at first to get the ball rolling, but once you find the path forward, Gravity Rush 2 delivers a series of exciting, over-the-top boss battles and scenes that delve into Cat's pre-Gravity Rush past. In effect, Gravity Rush 2 fulfills the needs of both a sequel and a prequel, and manages to tell a new and interesting story in between. While it's disappointing to see the camera issues appear during battle from time to time, Gravity Rush 2 otherwise excels in almost every other respect, making its predecessor seem quaint by comparison. It's easily one of the best video game sequels in recent memory, and an adventure that's truly worthy of its excellent lead character. <laughs> 